नमस्कार दोस्तों और आप सभी को स्वागत है इन माय चैनल 1971 वॉर बुक सीरीज आज हम बात करेंगे एक ऐसे बांग्लादेशी मुक्ति योद्धा के बारे में हु वॉज ट्रेन बाय द इंडियन आर्मी एट मूर्ति और उनका कोर्स मेट था द सन ऑफ शेख मुजीबुर रहमान शेख कमाल ही वॉज कमीशन एज अ सेकेंड लेफ्टिनेंट इन द मुक्ति बाहिनी हाँ 61 ऑफिसर्स वेर कमीशन ऑफिसर्स इन दी फर्स्ट बांग्लादेश वॉर कोर्स जिनका ट्रेनिंग इंडियन आर्मी ने किया था इन मूर्ति एंड ही वॉज वन ऑफ द 61 वन मैन हु लेटर बिकेम द बैकबोन ऑफ द बांग्लादेश आर्म फोर्सेस ये 61 वन ऑफिसर्स नॉट ओनली टुक पार्ट इन द बांग्लादेश लिबरेशन वॉर उसके साथ बांग्लादेश आर्मी जब फॉर्म हुआ था दे ऑल्सो प्लेड अ वाइटल रोल देयर तो मेरे साथ आज है मेजर ओलिक कुमार गुप्ता जिनको बांग्लादेश के वीर प्रति गैलेंट्री अवार्ड से भी सम्मानित किया गया था फॉर इज एक्सेप्शनल सर्विसेज इन द 1971 वॉर और आज वो अपने एक्सपीरियंसेस के बारे में हम सभी को बताएंगे मेजर ओलिक कुमार गुप्ता वाज एक्चुअली अ कॉलेज स्टूडेंट हु हैड पास्ड आउट फ्रॉम राजबाड़ी कॉलेज studying the subject of arts and after passing out in 1969 he was mostly involved in agriculture or uske sath he was one of the student volunteer workers with the awami league to so, agriculture ke sath kuch kuch political involvement ke sath he was actually living a village life lekin 1971 ka jang pushed him into becoming a legendary freedom fighter and later an officer in the bangladesh armed forces Let's welcome Major Ali Kumar Gupta, Bir Pratik. Good afternoon, Major Ali Kumar Gupta, for coming to this program, and I wish really a good day to you for coming and I mean what I can say, coming to our program and talking about your experiences in the 1971 Bangladesh War. So, as a Murti Bahini freedom fighter and as a second lieutenant who was commissioned from Murti. I wanted to know a bit about like seven before the 1971 war. I know you were a civilian, so how was life before that and just before the day of Operation Searchlight? What were you doing? Where were you present at that time? And how was life in general? All right. Thank you very much. Uh, first of all, in 1971, the liber our liberation war. In fact, war, when arms struggle start started after 25th March, okay. as you say. Mm -hmm. Before that, I go back a uh, little, uh, little back to 1970s election. From 1970s election, December, mm -hmm. December 1971, the General Assembly of Pakistan election was held mm -hmm. in the then East Pakistan. As well as in West Pakistan, as you know, the Awami uh, was elected in the majority seat, mm -hmm. and after from from then onward, there was a political development in East Pakistan about people who are skeptic about the power whether it will be handed over to. Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman or not. And finally it happened on 1st March 1971 when General Yahya, the then self-declared President of Pakistan declared, uh, postponed of uh, uh, Pakistan National Assembly mm -hmm. uh, would uh, supposed to be held on uh, 3rd March. He cancelled it on 1st March. Okay. And this was the first step taken by the Pakistanis not to hand over power to the Awami League. Right. Uh, from on that same day, Bangabandhu declared Hattal in the following day, and after gradually, you see, on 7th March. Bangabandhu gave a call for liberation war. As you know, that uh, seventh speech of Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, mm -hmm. 
that was the inspiration for all of us right that was the inspiration for all of us who has taken up taken up arms and joined the liberation war and from 7th march on was 25th march after 25th march uh more or less the situation was in east pakistan was volatile and pakistani army finally on 25th march night mm -hmm. in fact 25th 26th march it was it was night they created massacre in uh dhaka city particularly in dhaka city it a mass killing mm -hmm. and can compare it to the genocide right and in the late night of 25th march mm -hmm. after 12 after 12 at night it, it was 26th march bangabandhu sheikh mujibur rahman gave his last call before he was arrested by an wireless uh, communication of dedan east pakistan rifles right oh this wireless message was circulated in all over the east pakistan through telegraph teleprinter and wireless and i was then in my village home presently it is situated in in the district of rajwari earlier it was foritpur foritpur ha and foritpur has become foritpur has been divided into another four districts okay in 1984 however that is another part of it this is what this uh, we started from december then january february then march and after 25th march right and that call was as you know this was given in english mm -hmm. as it was an wireless message recorded wireless message and it was in english next day 26 mo uh, march morning uh, in uh, uh, around 8 am or 8:30 I I received the letter from our station railway station master Mr Rajja okay. he came sharp to the railway station I came by bicycle and I found the carbon note mm -hmm. and this all uh, at that time the communications in our area the teleprinter was the telegraph was the morse code you know the morse code telegraph mm -hmm. Uh, morse code the message was written in morse code and the sign cipher and then decoded by by this uh, station master uh, that it was in dito afterward after that when after the liberation we found it was dito the uh, message given by the bangabandhu sheikh mujibur rahman and written by that all station masters of that time in east pakistan i got that copy do i have given it to the mukti yuddha jadugar mm -hmm. so, that was my first uh, decision i took the i shall join liberation war in by taking up arms as a freedom fighters okay uh, and then what happened a, with this development before 26th march 25th march rather correction 25th march pakistan army Mm -hmm. deployed in all district headquarters all district headquarters a company somewhere more than a company somewhere a battalion and then it they subdivided it to some subdivision also mm -hmm. some subdivision not as a, you you have the subdivision in your west bengal we have previously the subdivisions yes. our subdivision was free of free from this pakistan occupation army We, uh, the pakistan army did not come to our subdivision okay. before 20 march mm -hmm. kustia district beside as you know perhaps you have seen in the map kustia is towards the dorsona mm -hmm. from foripur from foripur it is west mm -hmm. towards west mm -hmm. kustia and after that dorsona 
the Kustia district headquarter there was a company of Pakistan army 22nd Baluch most probably a company was there we came to know on 28 29th morning that the Kustia is being attacked by the East Pakistan rifles of Chuadanga headquarters no. Chuadanga was Chuadanga was the East Pakistan rifles wing headquarters wing means a battalion or two battalion like this mm -hmm. that wing commander was Major Usman the first sector commander eighth sector commander mm -hmm. our our first eighth sector commander is Major Usman the Major Usman organized and mobilized his troops whatever he had these Pakistan rifles in his hand answers police and the common civilians particularly from the youth group right and second in command of major Usman was captain A. R. Ajum Choudhury Bir Vikram he attacked the Kustia uh, town mm -hmm. Now, we got this information on 30th and what we did from Rajbari, Didian Rajbari political leader Kaji Hedayat Hoshin, a member of uh, provincial assembly that is Rajya Sabha, the our East Pakistan member, uh, parliament, East Pakistan parliament, he was elected as a member in 1970s election. He called us and uh, asked us who is the volunteer. We are sending about 100 plus answers, armed answers from Madaripur, Faridpur and Rajwari subdivisions who are, uh, wants to go along with them. I was one of them who volunteered. We didn't have the arms training at that time. We were particularly designated to carry food, to carry some medical uh, uh, aids, to carry their uh, ammunition boxes and etc. Et and this was sir, still in the month of March, end of March. End of March, I am talking about 30th March. 30th March, okay. Exactly 30th March. Hmm. On 30th March, in the morning, early morning, we started from Rajbari with a train, special train and on the way there are about six, seven railway stations. We touched about two, two, three from where we picked up some more volunteers, volunteers like us. Mm -hmm. And we went, but there is a big river called Gurai in between Kumarkhali and Kustia railway stations. The, this, we what and this bridge is a very, uh, the half a kilometer long built in time of during the time of British British government mm -hmm. uh, to, oh, what the people of money of that area they uh, took uh, took up the rail uh, line from the bridge okay. and the, what, what is done the train is to go up to Choraikul from there cross the river by boat it's, my small, uh, small little water during the march it was probably 5 to 10 feet at places mm -hmm. and with about 100 to 100, 150 yards we crossed over and there was another train standing okay. which used to run from there to Dorsuna border. Okay. So this yeah. was the Chorai river? Chorai Kul. Chorai Kul railway station. Chorai Kul railway station. Uh, Choraikul railway stations and Kustia rail stations, between the Choraikul railway station and Kustia railway station, the, 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 the bridge still exists. Okay. Uh, uh, now, we uh, carried the uh, arms, um, ammunition, foods, medical supplies, all the other side and loaded again and then went and there is a place called Lahini Para near Kustia railway stations. Lahini Para. Lahini, ha, Lahini Para, where, uh, where Mohini Mohan cotton mills, the big cotton mills was there. Okay. And the Pakistan army had a little, a small little post in 
that VHF wireless station. On that, you located on the Lahini Para on that on that on that location, and we we heard that East Pakistan rifles uh, peoples are there, they are fighting with them. And what we did, the, the answer commander, there were exactly 117 armed, armed answers. Okay. We, 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 we accompanied them and they reported to that East, East Pakistan rifles who were probably a Nap Subhidar or Subhidar who was in command of that area. They reported to him. The, we were tasked in we are divided into few groups with a few volunteers. We are about, we are about 26, 30 volunteers. We are divided into groups. And what we, that if we are commander asked us, they, you have done, brought this food will be very helpful for us. Dry food and cooked food, huge quantity. So then he divided something and since they carry it to, he gave us some locations where the PRs are already engaged with the Pakistan army, we carried them, carried these foods there. And the fight was going on and they were, after dusk of 30, 30th, the uh, this, uh, Pakistani position in the wireless station surrendered. Okay. Probably, uh, uh, probably between 7 p.m., 8 p.m. in the evening, mm -hmm. uh, surrendered and there are uh, six dead bodies uh, recovered, this uh, personal rifle recovered six Pakistani dead bodies, three or four injured Pakistanis. Okay. Uh, uh, and like this, all these outposts where the Pakistani army were by dawn 31st March, they surrendered to the East Pakistan rifles. And about as, as we heard later on from the Pakistani uh, uh, troops, they about a company plus were there, out of which 120, 22 were killed by the uh, these uh, EPRs, uh, answers and police. I mean, under the, the entire Pakistani company was. Entire, entire. Out, uh, entire, entire uh, out of which this, out of which the 20, 22 maybe with two uh, Dodge vehicles. Now the, you see the pickup vehicle, Pakistan army used Dodge, one and a half ton, American Dodge, Ford companies. The, they were, 20 or 22, they were escaping with these two Dodge towards Jinaida, just so. Okay. High escaping. So, exactly they could not, because they, after crossing Kustia, before they crossed the Kustia district and entered the Jinaida subdivision, and which is under Josur, there is a uh, police station called uh, Horinarayanpur. Hori yeah, and in that police station, near uh, within the jurisdiction of this police station, there are few bridges out of which the Mukti Bahiris, the then EPR and youth. Uh, or organized dudes, they selected two bridges. Out of which one bridge, they what they did, before the bridge, they, northern side of the bridge, they uh, destroyed the road, cut up, and uh, over that, uh, what is the gap, mm -hmm. they put the, uh, what is the bamboo made, called, uh, in local language called chatai, chatai. bamboo made. Ah, okay. with the bamboo pillar in sun, with the ground, and after that they give the Hussein cloth and al -Katra. I mean tar. 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 You have a tar. Exactly. Right. A tar, so that at night they feel that it is a road. Right. And they, they were trapped exactly what they did. They were going very fast towards Zinaida and then on to Jasur, but both the vehicles walked down inside the ditch. And the local people killed those 22. Local people. Okay. People were so uh, angry with the Pakistan army, mm -hmm. they took it as a vengeance. After that what happened, after 30, 31st March, on 1st April we fall back to Rajbari. 
and after two or three or maybe it is third April, a detachment from a detachment of inspirational rifles probably 30-35 people with heavy machine gun, light machine guns with three inch mortar, they came to Rajbari and onwards they came to Niden Gualandu Ghat. Gualandu Ghat. Uh, uh, where, where the Ariche and Gualandu, the ferry service from Dhaka towards south, south uh, southern side, that is Kholikpur, Magura, Jasur, Kustia, the road, road communication where the ferry, that was a, still there is a ferry, mm -hmm. but now the river has come into squeeze. Really. Mm -hmm. so, we joined with this. East Pakistan Rifles people. Where we, I met Captain A.R. Rajam Chaudhuri and got acquainted with him. And really, and I am fortunate that after crossover, the border I got him. However, this, these people came and along with the answers, armed answers, and local people with the help of local people and volunteers made a very good defense position in Gwalandula. And till 20th of April, the defense was intact. But from the evening of 20th April, it started, uh, Pakistan army started uh, helicopter strapping, air strapping, and their gunboat from, the, they brought the gunboat from Haranganj dockyard to the, to the uh, uh, Gualand in the river, from the river, mid river, they started firing, and then two helicopters constantly strapping over us. So, at that point, sir, you were at the defense, right? You must have. Uh, okay, you. I, I was with the East Pakistan rifles. Okay. So, you had some arms trading by then? I, I think by that time, by that time, how to. Operate 303 rifle and 9 mm stain machine carbine. We are uh, we are given the initial training. Okay. We few about about 25 to 30 young. That it was our interest. That was our day of day. With Captain A. R. Azam Choudhury in Gwalandugat. Not before that. After we reported to Gwalandugat on there. Okay. And 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 from there on 21st April before 21st April evening. East Pakistan rifle withdrew. From there, Gorondogad, they took a special train, arranged a special train, and they were fall back to Kustia. Kustia. Again. Okay. Ah, and it was difficult for us to hold for us a few people we had. And by, by evening, about 4.30, 4 p.m., 5 p.m., Pakistan army occupied occupied the Kuala Ndugat, they landed and we also fall back, I came back to my villa zone which is around 20 kilometers towards west and uh, 22nd of April in the morning I decided that no more in Bangladesh, I shall go and cross over the inter international builder may have come. So, at and that time, where was your family, sir? Like, uh, my family, my, my family were, were in, in the village home. My, just my family consists of myself, my elder brother and my mother. This three, we are three members. My sisters, we, all three sisters uh, got married in India. Okay. They, they were much earlier. The youngest sister or uh, money. Uh, among the siblings, the youngest sister uh, got married in 1962 okay. and raised two is much earlier. Okay. And, uh, and I, along with Shubhrato Sarkar, ever, that Kaji Hedai Thorsen, that MP, member of parliament, we, uh, uh, around seven, eight persons, uh, With started. Your mother and brother, right, sir? No, no, no. Mother and brother, they, uh, they stayed nine months inside East Pakistan. They did not cross over. So, just a question, sir. Um, like, 
people from the Hindu community were tortured, of course. So they were safe inside East Pakistan, not coming to India as refugees, right, sir? No, right, right. The, my family did not come. My, in fact, my village home uh, called Mahindrapur and Govindapur. This, I had two homes, both in Mahindrapur and Govindapur. Mm -hmm. And now, what happened in that area? We have very few numbers of Hindu family, uh, perhaps 15, 16 families. Mm -hmm. None of the families, total family, intact family crossed over. But the young people, young boys crossed over. Then my, from my village, from my village we crossed over seven. And seven are, seven joined in the liberation war and fought liberation war. The seven and out of them one is injured. Out of them, one is injured, who, who served in later on after liberation. First East Bengal Regiment, perhaps you have know, uh, inducted him as a Sipai, mm -hmm. and he retired as a Havildar okay. in 88, probably 88, 89, like my, just beside my uh, house. You know, that, that, that was my, our, the Hindu families of that area, yes. One thing, the few families were uh, tortured, particularly tortured, if not physically, mentally they have, been, they have gone through a, through a big trauma uh, because of looting and booting. Mm -hmm. Like my house, my house was attacked, but uh, I don't know, considering my family background or myself or my pre in presence of my mother, they could not speak anything, but they had destroyed all my collections of books, books and particularly the land, uh, land documents, land property documents, they have destroyed. Other than they did not touch any other wealth of ours, but other, family, other families gone through this uh, massacre, other families. This this is there. And nearby nearby another village uh, called Bilgachi, there are about What's uh, the name of the village, sir? Uh, name of the village Bilgachi. Bilgachi. Bil Bilgachi under Khangon Union Parishad, Union Parishad, Union Council. Okay. Uh, so this was a uh, Hindu majority area, area about 100, 150 fam, many, families were living and all of them, most of them are business, businessmen and uh, rich family, or most, most of them were. They were looted like anything in front of my eyes on 22nd April when I, when I was leaving my area, I saw the how they were being looted not by Pakistani army, not by non-Bengalis, by the Bengali people who were with me on 7th March. These people also are in, involved. I mean, these were opportunists, I guess. These are opportunists. Ah, okay. these are, this is the thing happened. Well, this was our fact and, and destiny and we suffered. And I will come in later on what I have seen as you see the map atrocities of Pakistan army. Mm -hmm. So on 22nd, I just uh, tell, told, tell my mother, Jay, I am leaving, whatever you have, uh, you know, our, we have very good um, uh, quantity of landed property. We didn't, we didn't have any agriculture know-how. It was this, what we call in our system, Varga Chashi. Okay. This is given to these people, they cultivate it 50-50, sometimes some are two-third, but they took the two-third two -third share, we got the one-third, uh, one, one like this. The, I just briefed her, the, these people, my name, these people, uh, you will get them paddy, you will get them jute, you will get the molasses or money, this is, I just gave a list and I left. And my brother was he doesn't have any enemy. And he was such a person, no, nobody would harm him. He, he was such a person. 
a social worker giving everything for them like like this. So I left along with this MP and Subroto. Subroto Dotto has the has two youngsters along with him. Yeah. One is one is uh, his blood, blood connected sister. Another is what is called cousin. Cousin. Another is cousin. His parents. Mm -hmm. Subroto's father was a government servant in Rajwari court. A second class gazetted officer. Okay. He was my course mate. Though came in the in the college, though he was in science, I was in humanities. However, we started running. In fact, by twenty second night, as much as we could by the on feet, went uh, about along about uh, fifteen miles or. 20 kilometers away from Rajwari and took shelter to the one gentleman's house called Nitai Sharka, a leading and very prominent business, Jude, Jude businessman, and passed two nights there. Unfortunately, we were, when we were in Calcutta, we came to know his, we saw his widow wife, young, young widow wife, just married few months earlier than this. Many incidents. Incident. He was killed, and we crossed over from we from from Vitai Sarkar's house to Koksha Janipur. In call, it is called uh, it is in the Kustia district on the beside of river river Gorai. We divided into two groups. Uh, the river's the, name is Norai. The Gorai, River Gorai. Gorai. The Gorai, Gorai, Gorai originated from the Kustia Zela. It is a branch river of River Padma. Okay. Ah, from exactly uh, Kustia Silaida. You had Romindor Tagors, Tagors used to reside in, the, in his house, mm -hmm. Silaida. Mm -hmm. Silaida, this uh, Gurai has come beside Shilaida. Uh, okay. It is it is a branch river of Padma, and it travelled through uh, Kustia, Faridpur, and then Gopal, towards Gopalganj. Okay. And in Gopalganj, it becomes River Madhumuti. Okay. Yeah, okay. So this is uh, Pakistan army, Indian army had to make bridge on River Gurai. I, while they were coming from Magura to Faridpur. Mm -hmm. However, the, we divided in two groups. We are in a, members of the group gradually increased, gradually increased. So then it divided into two groups. In one group, myself, Subroto, Chandan, and another group is uh, that Kaji Hedathoshan and his family members. His family members were uh, earlier shifted from. Rajwari town. Uh, I crossed over exactly we from Koksha Janipur. We started on 6th May and through Shoilokupa. There is a, a, a police station called Shoilokupa under Jinaida district and then Harinarayan from Kustia district. Crossed over the main road, Kustia Jasur road, crossed over and then. Uh, we took shelter to a, in a house of a gentleman at night. In the early early dawn, around 4 a.m., we started again and came to Alumdanga railway stations, Alumdanga. which is Alumdanga. It is near Chuadanga, just uh, Chuada, near Chuadanga, after Puradaho, mm -hmm. towards Darsuna, after Puradaho, towards Darsuna is Alumdanga. Okay, uh, almost close to the border. Ha, al from Alamdanga we crossed towards north and the road leading from Kustia to Meherpur. Meherpur. It is like a, just on the, on the border, Meherpur is on the border. Yeah. Uh, we crossed over that main road and there I saw the people how terrified they are running towards the border. From Alamgana railway stations, 
horse pull cart one 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 horse pull cart we have in our group about 63 cart 63 and uh, you surprise in our group we are seven all all are, all are young, young men, men. Mm -hmm. and then the uh, the cart puller said i can carry six maximum one has to run uh, uh, behind the cart and then it was me who uh, whose turn came first okay then we from alamnanga to exact border shikarpur calls it border shikarpur it is around 20 22 kilometers this Shikar, I had been in Shikarpur in 1972. Then, then we crossed over to Shikar. We, we reached Shikarpur. Before Shikarpur is, uh, we reached the cart said, "I cannot go beyond this uh, because the BSF and the Pakistan Army may be, may be there, and we, uh, we are not allowed." About uh, one and one and a half kilometer before the. Uh, international border okay. which we were unloaded mm -hmm. and we crossed over and firstly we reported to BSF camp the BSF there I found BSF in a, in a inspector was probably three stars at that time I found probably inspector mm -hmm. the BSF inspector took us to uh, registration camp there was a, there is a camp in, completely headed by manned by the Indian personnel, uh, they gave us an identity card, uh, then injections, mm -hmm. and then these inspectors are to, told us that you may get to go to the Mukti Judda camps, Mukti Bahini camps, where Captain Ajam Saab is there. Ajum. Then I remember Ajam, Ajam Saab, he did not say Ajam Chaudhuri, okay. Captain Ajam Saab is there. Okay. Then, uh, then we walked uh, about half a kilometer from BSF uh, border outpost. We went and he, Captain Ajahn Chaudhuri, identified him and how are you? By name he called me. Then I said everything to him. And we had two weapons. Now I tell you, this was not, uh, we did not disclose it to BSF also. Because of, we are so afraid, they might think that we are uh, informer, Pakistani informer. And these are, these are small arms, mm -hmm. 1.38 revolver 0.3. and 1.38 revolver and 1 9 mm, 9 mm stain machine carbine, okay. which the fold, fold, folding system. Foldable stock. We, okay. ha, ha, we had this in a jute carrying, in jute bag where our clothing belongings were there and two bag. We and myself and Subroto was carrying two, both of them one each. None, none, even our MP was uh, did not. MP was not informed about this. Okay. This this month, then we handed over to him, and he was very happy. And th these weapons belong to his Pakistan rifles, because in uh, in Gwalandu, they gave it, give this thing to us. Mm -hmm. And then he asked us to stay, and he uh, helped us a lot. Then the, he took us to the Rajamiya, the standing me member of parliament of Mirpur and the Dharamara police stations of Pustia Jeva. He also had a, a residence there. He just rented a residence while his people were reporting. But however, we did not uh, stay there at night. I told Captain Nathan Chaudhuri that I have three sisters. I did not see them. Last I visited them in 1962. If you allow me. Well, yes, you go. And he took this, came this weapon with a receipt to me. And we, I came to Calcutta. I came to Calcutta on, uh, I, in between I stayed uh, three or four days in Barakpur in the elder, my elder brother house of Subroto. Shubhoto did, did not bring his family along with him. Shubhoto, Shubhoto left, left them in Shubhoto's village home and we, uh, we crossed over. 
later on his parents arranged a cross tour and before we crossed to India 7th May, Kaji Hidayat Hussain crossed on 6th May. I don't know how he could go uh, with his such a big body. He crossed over on 6th May, we crossed over on 7th May. Okay. However, and my sister who stays in Calcutta that time, Bagbazar, uh, North Calcutta. He, he was very happy and next day I myself and Shukrata came to Sri Ekatol Hotel. I found there Kazi Hedayatul. And how about this or that and then I left, I moved back to Shikarpur again. Uh, that reported to Captain A. R. Ajun Chudun. I met my uh, second sister, one Mesh Didi, who was in Kolani. His uh, husband was, her husband was uh, an employee of Re uh, West Bengal Indian Railway, not West Bengal, Indian Railway. He was posted there. So I met him. Your family is also a lot like mine. My father was from there, your sisters got married <laughs> in India. Yeah. Yeah. Now, uh, my father died in India. Okay. My father died in India, India I, when I was three and a half years old. And my mother migrated to Pakistan. East Pakistan. And, ha, East Pakistan. And my two sisters, my elder sisters and second elder, elder sisters, were kept in, by, uh, in uh, my, my first cousin and second cousin's house in Dongdom and one is in Habra. However, they got married, one got married, I still remember, in 60, another was in 58. Well, that is my mother went from Pakistan and we also, along with the whole family and got the... Um, both of them, some, both, the, uh, both of their husbands used to serve in railway. And younger sister, there is uh, my Shuddhi. He, her husband is an engineer, of, was an engineer of Kasipur gun and cell factory. Okay. okay. So they, they, uh, they, uh, these two sisters were not, well, uh, what I will tell, they are not allowing me to go to the, again, back to border. But I did not. Uh, what to do? I have come here then. I reported to Captain A. Rajam Chaudhary, stayed there and in the month of June, uh, in between what happened, there Captain A. Rajam Chaudhary also gave us some basic training. Basic training means how to open, how to assemble, how to reassemble the rifle, stain gun, not LMG, not light machine gun. Uh, LMG, even even self-loading rifle, the Indian self-loading rifle, mm -hmm. nine uh, nine mm uh, stain machine carbine. Mm -hmm. Th this and then what is patrolling? What is ambush? What is raid? That is a, uh, how to take defense like this. Not attack. Not uh, 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 he used to send us with the uh, East Pakistan rifle troops inside. Uh, East Pakistan to collect information about Pakistani army's positions, their activities. We used to come inside around 10 kilometers, 12 kilometers, again, forward, like this. For hidden gun raids or just information? No, 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 but we did not come across, uh, in fact, tell you the truth, that area was. Uh, Probably Pakistan army could not uh, dare to uh, enter that area because they are they are forwarding step by step. They are Pakistan army they did not go in a rush. Did not they didn't have that much of force. They used to first they cleared the township, then uh, surroundings, then the stronghold of Mukti Bani, the army leagues, stronghold of Hindus Lakas. Uh, like this, they, they gradually they move forward to the international borders. Like uh, in month of July, August, probably like this. This way, this time they came along the border. Probably, at what I see. I, 
we, we, we did not come across, I tell you frankly, well, I had this around two, three weeks. I passed there in the month of June and last week of May. I have not come across with the only one occasion I stayed three nights inside East Pakistan, deep inside. Uh, it is it is called Gandhi Police Station under Meherpur Upujela, Meherpur Jela. At that time, Meherpur subdivision, we we stayed there about two, three nights. Mm -hmm. Three nights and then again crossed. Right? Gandhi Upujela is uh, uh, on the border, on the international border. Meherpur Upujela is on the international border. Now, after that, where Captain uh, A.R. Azam Choudhury told me that there is a circular, the uh, Bangladesh Army is recruiting officers for the commission rank. Mm -hmm. so you, since you have the education, requisite edu education, and you are uh, from the Mukti uh, Bahini, you are with, with us. Uh, you go report to uh, Kalani headquarter, aid sector. The, uh, probably he had, after that he had communication with the Kalani headquarter. The, then he said, uh, sorry, Kalani Gupta. Kalani in West Bengal? Where... Ah. Okay. Ha, Kalani in West Bengal, just near Calcutta, mm -hmm. where the aid sector headquarter was located. Okay. Where the aid sector headquarter was located. Mm -hmm. ah. Are, uh, where, from where I am talking, um, this uh, Captain A. R. Rajam Choudhury was in Shikarpur. It is under Kurimgons, Kurimpur Thana. Kurimpur. Your Kurimpur police stations under Nodia district. The district headquarter is your Krishnanagar. Got it? Mm -hmm. This this is uh, eight sectors. Uh, eight sector was the eight sector uh, the boundary from the north Hardinge Bridge. Our river uh, Padma, southern side of river Padma to Shatkira. Boshirhat. Boshirhat, northern side of. Shatkira in Bangladesh. Shatkira, just opposite. Shatkira is just opposite. I am talking about the area frontage, the south of Boshirhat, north of Boshirhat towards south on the northern bank of river Padma. Okay. That is Hardin Bridge. That was eight sectors area. And eight sector is divided into again three subsectors. Subsector one, subsector two, subsector three. Subsector area one was headquarter was in uh, Boira. Boira. Your uh, your under Bonga subdivision. Mm -hmm. Under Bonga subdivision uh, within the Jurisdiction of Bagda Police Station. Uh, uh, Bonga towards Boira, from Bonga towards North. Mm -hmm. It is uh, Boira is the your last from Bonga. Yeah. last territorial boundary mm -hmm. of Indian mm -hmm. uh, West Bengal. On the river, on the southern side of the southern side of the river Kabutakku. Mm -hmm. However. He told me that next day or day after probably he told me, uh, Gupta, I am sorry, the interview of the eighth sector has been closed. It has been done. Uh, so what you can do is report to uh, theater road, where our uh, provisional government uh, provisional government headquarters is located. Mm -hmm. I am giving you a letter. Okay, so uh, I took that letter and I came to, on, I travelled to Krishnanagar, from Krishnanagar, and I stay night to my sister's house and then next morning I, around 9 a.m. or 10 I went to Sriniketan Hotel. I found that Kadi Hedayat was there. There I found that Khundugar Ubaidur Rahman, the MP member of parliament of Faridpur Sadar mm -hmm. and Faridpur Nagar Kanda and Sadar uh, uh, constituencies, he, he was a uh, member. Though I have some introduction with him before that, when I was student of college, 
he was once upon a time that is in the year probably 1962 63 he was president of east pakistan student league okay uh, okay he was he was a he was a renowned student leader real and a very good orator and political leader and very close to bangabandhu shek mujibur rahman later on he betrayed after 75 he betrayed like any however he told me okay uh, he, he saw the letter we we'll keep it with you tomorrow morning at 10 sharp you report there i will be there i am also one of the member of the your selection committee okay so i went there i found the uh, uh, this is the first time i went to the theater i went the in the security uh, check post i saw so this uh, letter of colonel rajan choudhury captain and indian captain rajan choudhury and they allowed me to go and sit in the visit, uh, waiting room i found another f- five six uh, youth like me sitting after about uh, half an hour i was called okay before that someone came and took the name of our one by one and i hand over the letter to him also that probably i was the third person to be called okay i, I went inside a room sitting i found in uniform now i understand now maniki after that when i saw when i was commissioned i was posted i understood that what was i faced them I mean, what was their rank and status okay. the uniform in uniform was brigadier uh, indian army uh, one brigadier and indian army one air force officer which uh, appears to be later on i got the, i described the batch then i found he is wing commander okay. indian army and our air vice indian group captain uh, yaar khondu ek ek khondu ek ek khondu ka roz avar after colonel usmani indian colonel usmani uh, that our uh, chief of uh, armed for armed uh, um, forces he was twice second in command second Sir, to 41st i mean first bangladesh war course alongside selecting i mean uh, i mean alongside selecting cadets Uh, uh, which was done. I thought it was done only by the members of the Mukti Bahini top command. But Indian Army people were also involved in selecting. Involved? Cadets. Yes. You uh, perhaps you have heard the name of Colonel Niranjan. No, have you heard our my question? Colonel Niranjan. Niranjan, what does he do? He was trained with you, as far as I know. Ah, ah, ah. He was he wounded was in during Mukti. Yes. He was Lieutenant Colonel. He retired as Lieutenant Colonel. Mm-hmm. Uh, he stayed in Dhaka Cantonment. he also appeared through their select sector had to had a written exam okay their select sector written exam conducted by the indian army okay because you did not we didn't have that logistics it should it should know our sector headquarters our office one officer or two officers in a sector how could they organize all these things with the help of in the in my uh, interview board that there is these three officers and alongside khundukar obaidur rahman khundukar obaidur ha khundukar obaidur rahman probably was there uh, uh, what i guess there is to veto uh, give veto whether i am pro awami or muslim league or i am a naxalite like this okay. like this All, all, all over the sector, all over this, this our eleven sectors. There was a political leader, even in sub sectors. There was a in our sub sector. There was an MP, member of Parliament. Tobi Bur Rahman shot that from Narai. Used to stay there. Okay, and uh, he was from the Army League. Are, huh? He was from the Army League. Okay, I. Who did you say? Tobi Bur Rahman. Ha ha. He is. A, he was elected MP, member of Parliament. Okay. From Faridpur Shadur constituency. Mm-hmm. how about this is my yes this was for this reason he was kept <coughs> i was asked general questions according to my educations my 
social living, what I used to do. I remember one question uh, asked by group captain A.K. Khonduga. How tall is a palm tree? How tall is a palm tree? I replied, how old is that tree? So everybody laughed. Unless if it is not, how can I say if a palm tree may be of one feet, a palm tree of two feet, a palm tree of how old? How old is that palm? Right. Then everybody laughed, and then he said, "Go after there and then." Barton Russell. They asked me about who, in which subject, subject Barton Russell got the. Nobel uh, Prize. That was asked by this wing commander. I still remember. Okay. And this brigadier sir, brigadier asked me. He did not ask me where I've been uh, during the uh, this as you have question, this questionnaire. What I used to do before that uh, after 25th March, where I had been, mm-hmm. and then this crossover 7th May to this. Uh, my interview was on probably 23rd of June. 23rd of June, then probably, yes, 23rd of June. Uh, then uh, what I had been doing in India, where I had been, like this question, nothing serious about it. Then gave, they gave me a written, uh, what is called? Have you ever done the presses? A, a statement, a narrative is given. From there you have to run some and substance. During our time, our text, it is, we used to call presses. Okay. This some and substance to in Bangla it is says Haram Sho Rakho Achan Bangla. Right, right, right. Bangla Gondu Bangla. Summary. 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 Right. Summary. The we used to in that time syllabus it used to be called presses. The however they gave me in a type paper mm-hmm. and gave me. Two pieces of paper and pen, sitting there, sitting there, ten minutes time, write presses from it. I wrote it, and they what they they saw each other. Then I asked me, please go and sit there. You will you will be informed. And then gradually, the rest three or four people were called. They got their interview, and finally. This uh, Captain A B M Noor, the then Captain A B M Noor, later on Major, who is one of the accused of uh, life, uh, uh, accused of killing of Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, Major Noor, the man of select, he was A D C to uh, Colonel A- Osmani. Okay. Ha- he into, came into the waiting room and introduced himself. I am son, Captain A B M Noor. Please come and see uh, see the notice book. I, I went along with these others. I found their two names. One name is Sheikh Kamal, and followed by my name. Okay. Uh, there are none, and then. Uh, Captain Noor asked me to come his chamber. I got well, there. Sheikh Kamal. He introduced me with Sheikh Kamal, and along with Sheikh Kamal, he took us to the Colonel Usmani's room. And Colonel Usmani congratulated both of us, and he uh, asked us about the asked me not Kamal about the present situation in Gopalganj area. Particularly because he was interested in a, a special tribe called you in your uh, West Bengal. This is called what? Mm. In our area called Namoshudru. Namoshudru. Okay. Namoshudru. I understand. Uh, uh, in, 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 in your there is a Thakur ki calls and they are guru from. One guy they have and they are leader. Yeah, I think even here it's called Namoshudra, I guess. Yes. Mm-hmm. Achha. This, he was inquiring me uh, about this Namoshudra uh, caste. Mm-hmm. Why are these people? I mean, why, sir, why you are asking? But they are ferocious. 
they are ferocious. I want some young youth from them. Then I uh, suggested him that perhaps they will, if they cross the border, they will use, use the, uh, likely to use the all international border around Joseph. You know, they do not have any other road. They will not go to eastern side, Agartala side, and a long distance. Mm -hmm. They will come to, they will come to Khulna, either Khulna or Norail Joso. Joso, sir, you can check to Binapur, Satkira, Joso International Border, you will get, uh, the, the, sorry, the refugee camps of these areas, you may have a, uh, okay. inquiry. In, in However, then Colonel Osmani, uh, took us to the Prime Minister, Dijan Tajuddin Ahmed. Wow. Where I found Colonel, uh, sorry, I found the Khundukar Ubaidur Rahmani Talsi. Uh, Khundukar Ubaidur MP is already sitting there again. Then uh, Tajuddin Ahmed, sir, he briefed us and he said, the, that uh, you go and get the training, you will not get all facilities, no facilities, I cannot give you anything, but you have to dedicate yourself like this. And it was then, the time schedule was given, I have to report on next day by 8 a.m. to the air, from where we will be taken to Kalani 8 sector. Okay. Next day I came and I found in that same waiting room, Another two young person is sitting, then got myself introduced with them. Uh, one is uh, Kayum Khan, Abdul Kayum Khan, another is Abu Qasr. Abu Qasr was student of Dhaka University in English, and Kayum Khan was student of economics in Dhaka University. Okay. Both of them at Dhaka University. Then they are known to Kamal. But because, uh, as because they, uh, they, they resides uh, in Dhaka city. Mm -hmm. Though Kaisar was a man of Narasimhi, but he, he used to reside in Dhaka city. And Kaim, to, Kaim used to say Kolabana beside, beside the Gongobundu's house. Oh. However, uh, however uh, Kamal was also a, a student of Dhaka University mm -hmm. at that time. They, these three were known to each other, not, except me. But we got, I got him myself introduced with them and again we were taken to the chamber of Prime Minister. He again gave us about five to six minutes briefing a cup of tea. Then we left for Kollani. A Will G, Willie Z, uh, Kamal himself was driving uh, and uh, we three were in the back. In the front, there was a BSF person in series with arms. I, we got it, an indication that he is from intelligence of BSF. Okay. Uh, then we came around. I think BSF uh, was also keeping an eye on like recruits. No, no. Yeah, of course. BSF was mainly Pakistan, Indian Army. Uh, Initial stage Indian Army was not involved. Mm -hmm. It has the BSF and BSF in intelligence of BSF was engaged with the Mukti Bhai. And later on, probably July, August, from where the, when the Mukti Junta camp, uh, training camps started functioning, mm -hmm. and then uh, the Army came in, but Indian Army came in. And from uh, Colony headquarters, we straight away uh, came to the house of uh, Major Osman. He has a uh, one story building, residential area probably where the, the, the client was mm -hmm. sitting. Uh, it has western side of the Colony Rail Station. Uh, we, he entertained us with the lunch and from there we were taken to your Kasrapara garrison. Kasrapara, okay. Just one station. My, my dog. I was taken. We are, and uh, at that time, the Indian uh, BSF uh, personnel was not was not there. He took back the jeep. Uh, he went back to Calcutta, 
first 8 sector there was a uh, jeep given to captain abdul rahab okay. man of magura for and later on he became major general electromechanical engineer oh, okay. from uh, pakistan army he escaped to uh, from pakistan army and joined the liberation he took us he was working as staff captain of 8th sector he took us to kasrapara garrison and there the official letter was handed over and then we four went through the medical check up and on night 8 pm we left kasrapara and stayed the night there it's called the headquarter early morning we have breakfast and we were brought to the uh, barakpur cantonment okay at that time there was no uh, captain who have with us it was indian army jeep army jeep na it was army dodge vehicle same thing we have a dodge vehicle uh, a person sitting in front who was in civis a driver was in arms and two armed people were in back where we four were sitting back seat okay we came we came into the barakpur garrison there we are taken to commander of chali sector brigadier sale sale ha he was from fort kumaon fort kumaon maybe but he was at that time brigadier my chali sector communication zone commander mm-hmm. that was communication zone mm-hmm. your your logistic zone probably is named as communication zone i don't mm-hmm. know what at that time was communication zone mm-hmm. the brigadier he, major was major shankar roy choudhury he is also i mean he i mean he has a lineage from east pakistan as well he later became indian army chief indian army chief <laughs> and he was uh, we, we did not uh, come across with him but we come across one captain he started last ali full name he, he, he had an emperor here ali a l i a kashmiri man okay you cannot speak bengali hindi and english so mm-hmm. among us uh, she kamal used to know uh, urdu Uh, quite very uh, good uh, urdu he could speak zahar but we needed a sale of our lunch we had lunch and then captain ali brought us to shialda railway station by road um 5 5:30 we came shialda shialda railway station and then he handed over to us uh, handed over us to a railway officer with the documents oh, yeah. now we understand the movement order and then warrant there is a warrant is there reservation we had a reservation four sleeping bag were reserved among our net and this railway officers along with the captain ali came to the uh, designated uh, your uh, railway uh, what is called your bogie uh, compartment railway compartment and then we got into it captain ali say alvida to say and and we started and what was the name of the train and i don't know but it was the mail train uh, it was running over the uh, i still remember badwan badwan and uh, uh, but did not did not stop it, uh, it, it uh, ran over and when we uh, when we arrived farakka ghat it is lalgola ghat or farakka ghat in farakka bridge where mm-hmm. at that time farakka bridge was under in, in finishing task probably we got ferry railway ferry got the river ganga crossed and this side also we found an railway officer waiting for us as is the love now we we, we uh, it has in the army uh, warrant under warrant we no warrant we were taken to the our respect, uh, respected compartment and he briefed us that you will go down in jalpaiguri 
you will go away. You have to switch your work from there to meet targets. Okay. And uh, from Jalpaiguri, you will get a trend and he gave, gave us the details. And I'm going to whole night we were in the train. In the morning we came to the Jalpaiguri and we had a small little luggage. We each uh, having a bag, nothing but the luggage room. We kept it in the luggage room and we went for a, just as a look of the Jalpaiguri district railway station and around Salaman. And we again came back before the train and we started. And Around 1 p.m. we came to Chalsa, real station called Chalsa. Chalsa. Uh, it, it, is, it is in the Jalpaiguri district, Chalsa, where we found the another group of ours. They have come from the eastern side. Okay, that's right. From, from Guwahati, uh, Assam, Agartala, on, on, on that area. And there were, there were three officers, Indian Army officers were there with uh, sports kits, mm -hmm. white sports kits. And we came we were about, about 18 kilometers from, around 18 to 20 kilometers from Chalsa railway stations to our Murti training camp. Okay. And there I f we found they, they are, uh, had already there are about 10, 12 cadets, our selected person, they have already reported from other, other sectors. And that, this is a, then uh, on the, in the evening we are issued with the, our kids, uh, uniforms, then what is called shoes, other things, whatever these things, then stationery, office stationery for it, and, and routines, all that, all are given, and uh, all instructors came in the evening. So your uniform was khaki, I guess? Yes, our, our uniform, they are, we have given uniform, uh, two sets of, uh, two, one pair of dangri, mm -hmm. uh, one pair shirt, one pair trousers. Right. right, and one pair of shorts, one pair of vests, a pair of kids, kids of uh, just common nature of skin, not specialist, and socks. This one, and there are also boots. Mm -hmm. There are also boots, jungle jungle boots. Also, there. It is all all these are given by the Indian Army. From the from their stores, and then next morning the training started. As you know, uh, very, to tell you very frankly, the uh, Brigadier R P Singh, your Indian Army, the then Captain R P Singh, Captain, right. uh, he wrote an article which is published in in our books, where the uh, we have a. 60, uh, 61, no, 61 are not all are alive. Mm -hmm. Those who are those who are alive, they have written some stories about their own memories mm -hmm. of their own experiences. Mm -hmm. In where, where your uh, Captain Sthanapati, Indian Captain Sthanapati, man of West Bengal. Uh, uh, I met him last time in 13. 2013 on 16 December in Fort William. Okay. He retired as a colonel. Uh, he was the only Bengali. Okay. The, uh, there are other, other officers. Uh, our, our wing commander was uh, Major Thapa. I mean, for, I, I forgotten the full name. Major Thapa. And at that time, RP Singh was not there. Beginning, RP Singh came after two to three weeks. Captain Mohanlal, Captain Mohanlal Chandon was, Captain Mohanlal Chandon, uh, probably Maratha. I don't know, very handsome. Uh, he was posted out because he was going for a, a course somewhere. 
and the captain of fishing came okay. and he i was in I, there are four syndicates syndicate 1 2 3 4 i was in syndicate 4 We we were divided. We sixties uh, personnel were divided into four syndicate. Fifteen consists of fifteen each, huh? uh, and then our accommodation was divided into two barracks. Uh, squad four and squad three was in one barrack, and squad one and squad two was. Another barrack. So you have two squads. Nah, syndicate. 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 Okay. Syndicate one and syndicate two was in one barrack, and syndicate three and syndicate four was in one barrack. Okay. One barrack. There are two barracks. These barracks were mainly uh, prepared to stay the Maratha troops of Maratha region. Oh. There was a there was a uh, Maratha regiment. I don't know the what is the number of Marath which Maratha. The Maratha regiment was there. It is also a communication. The just area was commanded by Brigadier Joshi, the commando person. Joshi. Okay. He some Joshi Brigadier Joshi. Yeah. Huh. Uh, a big monster with good body. Our Chief Instructor was Colonel S. Das Gupta. S. Das Gupta, I have heard uh, a S. lot actually. Uh, Brigadier, he 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 retired as a brigadier. Captain uh, Colonel Thanupati told me in December 2013 that he retired and he died. He died seven. He died 11 or two, 2011 or 2012 in Calcutta. Hi, uh, Victor. He he was commissioned in, uh, as we know, forty-seven or forty-eight okay. from Indian Military Academy. He served as ADC to President Rajendra Prasad also. Okay. He was our CI. And then what? Uh, the R P Singh wrote a uh, article. Wrote an article. That is in where he says say that. The syllabus of six months was squeezed to fourteen weeks. Fourteen weeks. Hmm. Fourteen weeks, and and as such, there are many things to be deleted, which is not required for the guerrilla warfare. Uh, but there are many things to be added, which is not in the conventional war. And right. the the. Uh, Uh, for the completion of this syllabus, uh, we had to increase the training time from eight hours to fourteen hours, and some days it was sixteen hours. Sixteen hours. Sixteen hours. A day. A day. And we we had we had worked with we uh, we had no tiredness except from few uh, sick. Uh, you know, sick is uh, it is uh, beyond your control. The uh, normal temperature, uh, then uh, stomach aggravation. Mm -hmm. uh, these, these are you cannot avoid, whatever may be. And we were proteinless. You have to accept that we were these fourteen weeks. The amount of toil we have gone through, and in return the intake we have got. It was no. Um, it, it it has no comparison. What we used to have in the morning, two puris and some vegetable, a mug of tea. Yes. Okay. It, it is after it is after PT. Okay. After after forty five minutes PT physical training, okay, and within half an hour we have to get changed into uniform and go to join theoretical class as well as sometime practical class as well as firing. And explosives, all these things are chronologically they have included. Oh, first two three weeks we gone through the theoretical, and then we are taken to firing range. Uh, all kinds of weapon except heavy machine gun. We are, uh, and then heavy machine gun, mortar, uh, shell, rocket launcher. We also fired that. We are taken to the artillery firing range. 
your uh, that is deep inside your uh, uh, jungle of the jalpai guri shili guri te, hilly terrain mm-hmm. where the battle where the battle in the ocean was made mm-hmm. uh, this is our training started and we were very eager to complete it as fast as possible but uh, primarily it was scheduled to be co- completed by 12 weeks but all on a sudden uh, before uh, before one week left of 12 weeks we were informed the training is in, enhanced by another two weeks we were all demoralized but all all dss told us gentlemen this will help you more to fight you better this we have included some new things i we thought that this uh, this is required that you should go through this journey however we gone through and our, our uh, what is called uh, training uh, was appreciated by the then eastern commander eastern eastern commander uh, of indian army general lieutenant general jamjit singh arora did he visit the training camp sir ha uh, yes uh, he he visited probably uh, probably on 9th of uh, week or 10th week when we were having gone, gone through the rigorous physical unarmed we are going through the unarmed combat training uh, uh, process he, he came he landed over and came and observed, stayed with us so uh, about 20 25 minutes how we are doing and then we were told about in the evening by the dss and uh, major thapa the, the he was very satisfied about your performance particularly your anam combat mm-hmm. he, he was satisfied and then your uh, well, that was uh, probably four core four core from a left hand you know thapa No, 33 crore, sir. Is it 33 crore? Mm-hmm. Yes, 33 crore. Left hand is uh, on Balur Ghat or some Dinaspur. Mm-hmm. Uh, the days, uh, uh, he visited two to three times to see our training. Mm-hmm. And then our sector commanders of that area, uh, who were along that side, particularly uh, seven sector commander, then, uh dinaspur sub sector commander they used to go there but one thing they have they did not have any uh what is the liberty to interact with us okay uh, they used to go and stay outside of our barrack and indian army uh, instructors came asked us to go and meet them and then uh, we, uh, we used to go why it was done i don't know but we were kept under very secure and uh, protective fashion though 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 there are tea planters just just uh, just beside our camp beside our institution uh, the camp boundary on the eastern probably eastern side there are two tea gardens okay big tea gardens the people are working there the the laborers are working there regularly but they are not allowed uh, to cross over that fencing the indian army uh, secret person uniform personnel as well as in civis okay. in civis the intelligence people are there because not there we are not only trained the officers are not only trained they are also a camp of mukti mukti bahini training camp also over there Okay. every 3 weeks every 3 weeks from there about 1000 freedom fighters are being trained and dispersed there in that in that murti wow uh, that 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 camp uh, that camp used to be that training camp used to be run by another wing of another group of indian army officers and both of this this two that officers training and the mukti yoddha trainings were 
conducted under the one command of Brigadier Joshi. Brigadier Joshi. Yeah. I don't know his full name. Probably if I can get it, get the name from my our other course mates, particularly Major General Jamil. Perhaps you have, uh, uh, he had got the, he had got certain information, he had collected lot of information about Mutti. Uh, after when, uh, liberation, probably in the uh, in 90s or after his retirement, he collected uh, these things. So I, if I get from him, I will inform you. Brigadier Joshi, full, full name, then Das Gupta, Colonel Das Gupta, full name, Thapa, full name. I, go, I don't have the full name. So we have the instructor. Mr. Jalalabadi, who was with you, uh, ha, 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 ha. he was searching for, for Colonel Dasgupta from me. He thought that I might be his relative, Colonel Dasgupta's relative, but I said, no, I'm not. And he was searching for Colonel Dasgupta for some time. Uh, and the Colonel das, uh, Dasgupta ancestor belongs to Faridpur. Right. Uh, Faridpur, uh, that is beside. Now it is under Rajbari. Hmm. Our, our, our dish is Baliakandi Thana. He is from Baliakandi Thana, I am from Rajbari Thana. And I don't know where the Colonel Dasgupta was born in the then undivided Bengal or he born in and where he like he was a very reserved personality. Hmm. Very I had uh, twice the opportunity to talk to him. Twice. One day is the, the commission day. He said uh, hello everybody to those who were uh, having lunch with him. There are uh, lunch in the uh, on that day. The lunch uh, we were ten uh, from the first ten from one to ten that is cadets were allowed to have lunch with the president, our acting president Dijan Soyad right. At that, at where the colonel. Das Gupta, Brigadier Jussi, Thapa, all are there. At that time, he just congratulated all of us and he just had an interaction. And another day, that was uh, probably during the uh, August, month of August, a letter, I was writing a letter to my youngest sister, Calcutta. We are allowed, but not. Uh, closed letter. The letter uh, was like that, a letter and the in addre in, in, uh, address was written on the uh, in bluff. It was given to them. They when I scrutinized it and then it was given. It was not delivered by the uh, post. Our friend Major no Diden Novi for a letter on Major General Nurun Novi who are coming to Calcutta to take part in uh, Bangladesh football, uh, Mukti Yodda football team. There was a football team. He was national, he was national goalkeeper of Pakistan national team. So he was that, that's, that's why he was given three to four days off from the training and uh, we, some of us gave the letter to him to drop into in Calcutta. However, the, the Das Gupta, uh, he was a Bang, 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 this, he was a Bengali, and Captain Stanovuti was uh, my my uh, instructor was Captain Mohanlal Chandan, and then after that Captain Arpishi, Fourth Syndicate. There was another cap, uh, instructor, Captain Jadob, from engineer, in, from engineering mm -hmm. corps. All of them are very sincere and they worked hard along with us. They used to run two miles, three miles, six miles along with us when we used to run with this package. They, of course, they did not carry the zero pack, but they used to have uniform, have our sack and ran with us. The, the instructors worked very hard and very sincere and uh, we were grateful to them, no doubt about it. And the day we are given the, uh, what is called in the evening, when the movement order were uh, read out, the group group movement order in one group, 
uh, the group which I was leading uh, consists of uh, eight officers. The one movement order and another group was alone, Lieutenant Kamal, Sheikh Kamal. So then only that day I saw tear in the eyes of Major S. Thapa. Such a uh, person, he was also crying while he was giving us, um, say, saying us, okay, goodbye. Major Thapa. Major Kisam Thapa, he is from Gurkha Regiment. Mm -hmm. so a short man, Nepalese origin probably, Nepalese origin. Uh, this, uh, this was, uh, and it's, uh, it after, as you know, the course completed on 8th, 9th October, the passing out took place. Uh, the commission parade was uh, uh, observed and salute was taken by uh, Soyad Nazrul Islam, our Deden acting president, and joined by Tajuddin Ahmed, Prime Minister and Colonel M. G. Osmani. And there were there are journalists from India, there are journalists uh, from our Bangladesh, Betar and other things. And next next day morning, that is 10th October morning, we early morning, Captain A. R. P. Singh and it is Captain Sthanapati took us to Bagdogra airport. Uh, we eight were in the one group. Uh, other other groups were dispersed in some other way. So we were brought to Bagdogra Airport. Uh, there, uh, Sayyid Nazrul Islam and Colonel Usmani uh, were there, and along with them we flown into a uh, flown into your Dum Dum Airport by Indian Air Force Dakota, uh, Dakota aircraft, logistic aircraft probably, I don't know. And from there, Sheikh Kamal along with Colonel Osmani, he left for theater road and we seven uh, were again received by Captain Ali. Again received by Captain Ali in Dom Dom Airport. Mm -hmm. From there we were brought to Barakpur. Captain Ali from Barakpur uh, Cantonment. Okay, Captain Ali from Barakpur. Again, okay. Indian Army. Indian he Army. received again. Okay. Who who gave who see of us in uh, see all the railway station again? He received us from Dom Dom Airport. Right. From there Barakpur he got us to Barakpur Cantonment. There we had a lunch where Brigadier Saleh gave us a briefing, a little bit briefing. And here is a, he, uh, there we are uh, eight in this group. Uh, Kamal is alone. These eight were divided into two groups. Uh, there were five for the sector nine, which was, uh, the, your Taki was the, probably Bushirat, in, in Bushirat subdivision Taki, there was Hasna ha, ha, sector nine. Right. There, the five were five officers were for uh, posted in uh, sector nine, and three of us, myself, Major Most uh, Lieutenant Mustafa and Lieutenant Nurun Novi, eight sectors, and Major uh, Lieutenant uh, uh, Lieutenant Kamal. Uh, so Lieutenant Soyot Kamal, then Lieutenant Moin, Lieutenant Asanullah, Lieutenant uh, Muhammad Ali, and Lieutenant Sachin Karmakar. Mm -hmm. uh, these five were for were posted in nine sector. They were selected from nine. They were selected from nine sector. These five, and we three were selected. Though I was selected from Theatre Road. I was not selected by any sector headquarters, you know, but I was posted. These two, Lieutenant Nobi and Lieutenant Mustafa, were selected by eight sectors. That's whatever way we are posted there. But we eight together reported to Kolani. Okay. And Major 
did and sector commander major m m abul manjur later on major general manjur who was killed in chatter in chatogram 1981 manjur major general manjur he was major manjur who escaped from pakistan sialkot he was a brigade major of their in sialkot he along with his family wife and kids went wife and two kids along with another three officers mm-hmm. major jiaddin major tahir and captain uh, what captain is patwari captain patwari they uh, they escaped however this major mondur briefed us and he said this five well you come along with me i will show you your area but your command sector commander will brief you because as i am not involved he has eight sector nine sector they do both of both these two sectors are just beside side by side uh, so he briefed us and then later on he asked us anybody who wants some leave anybody he he inquired everybody's family about family where is then i asked for three days leave he allowed okay so wh- where did you go and nobody also took and with that asanul only one of nine sector he also took and next day we three uh, together came to calcutta and uh, i dropped nobi in the, uh, in Bo, uh, what is called uh, bobajar thana okay. the pratap his his good, very good friend pratap mm-hmm. hazra he was he was also national player of national football player of pakistan national team his brother was oc of bobajar thana his own blood uh, elder brother so he was staying there so he dropped there and i dropped uh, asanulla to shruddhanand park samar near shruddhanand by a very good house uh, where from there i came to bagbara and then stayed one night i took three nights three three day holiday but i could not stay because there was hartal strike called by the uh, didin west bengal government okay. himself government himself called by a strike the third day was the strike my third day of my leave was the strike the high co- how could i how could i come to the kolani because train will also be closed so second day i i have to come kolani and wait and third day they, and they on 14th of october i was sent to sub sector 1 that is boira boira sub sector okay ha uh, that, i i i was sent we, along with uh, about around 120 125 trained freedom fighters but without arms another four five trucks along with me i came uh, your kolani to bonga bonga to uh, uh, bara as the road leads to bara in between there is bagda rail station and there are two ferries at that time from ba- on got to bagda there are two small ferries canal type river and i reported to my sub sector commander what was my sub ha my sub sector commander was then major khundukar nazmul huda okay later later khundukar colonel khundukar nazmul huda who was killing 7th november 1975. counter coup 1975 He was one of the accused of Agartala Sarjantra Mala with Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman. He was then captain of Pakistan. He from Army Service Corps. Right. Army Service Corps, but during the war, he was retired. He was passing retired life and engaged in business. His, his elder brother is a big businessman during the Pakistan time. He was working in, in his elder brother's farm in Kustia. From there, he escaped. the colonel major huda welcomed me and in the evening he uh, briefed me in the model 
you know model in the sand model bed he briefed me about his area and asked me to uh, take the command now onwards all the operations and whatever maybe it it will it will be conducted by you and i also will participate with you but now on all you are you are assistant sub sector commander and you will stay inside now you okay the next day i was sent inside and inside my location was i'm now i'm going in very uh, in in a nutshell when operational as you said what i have done during uh, my uh, how was the right. as a second lieutenant why did you join as a sector commander what were your roles there like here i am telling i was sent inside means not deep inside we had a before i joined we had a defensive line inside bangladesh that is boira is such boira is a bulge boira is going from uh, from south bonga uh, if, if i consider from bonga it is south and you it was going to north okay. straight north straight north after crossing bagda that is a police station on the main main road then the boira is your last last territorial boundary on the northern bank of the river kabutak ah uh, boira has gone inside bangladesh and bangladesh has come both east and western side of that boira okay ah uh, bald the kabutak kabutak sea flows on the northern side and eastern side of the boira to the Uh, on the eastern side of Boira, the nearest border outpost is Kashipur. 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 Yeah, just ha yeah, Kashipur. Okay. Uh, nearest border ba- Bangladesh border outpost, right. and that was destroyed by the Indian uh, Pakistan army. Destroyed Partially or destroyed. No, captured. It, uh, it was captured, but recaptured by the Mukti Juddha. Okay. The, Because it was recaptured by the Mukti. It was during June, July. It was recaptured. Okay. Recaptured. The area was recaptured. Pura. And they before they left, probably they destroyed some parts of the BOP. That uh, tin shed concrete building. In nutshell, as tin shed concrete building, but very good building. But it was destroyed into parts. Uh, th- that Kashipur BOP. Uh, Area from there, if we take the center of Kashipur BP is the my inter, I mean border. Uh, uh, what is called Bo- border of the Bangladesh. From there towards east, towards east is your Jassur Cantonment. Jassur Cantonment. Ha! From Kashipur, the border outpost towards is the Jassur Cantonment, and now there are. there are uh, few villages uh, some marshy areas and in between the river kabutakki also flows from Ka- uh, kashipur it takes a bend gone gone to gwalhati chutipur where it has come to the jikor uh, gasha on the main road of benapul uh, jasor main road it has come to jikor gasha mm-hmm. now this kashipur from kashipur around 2 kilometers towards east to the three kilometers around three kilometers is there is a called place called chutipur chutipur it has chutipur it is a uh, the area it uh, eastern side of kabutakko is also chutipur western side of kabutakko is also chutipur here kabutakko is not much much do not have much width as uh, hardly hardly 100 yards to 130 yards but water is deep this chutipur is a uh, defensive position of pakistan army they are they are physically holding that because from chutipur from chutipur the brick sodding road leads to jasor cantonment okay. straight towards east 
this this road is going brick showing there are some bridges bridges there and kayumkula perhaps you have heard the name of kayumkula battle there steep four six kilometer uh, the this kayumkula uh, uh, is involved in it uh, within the periphery of this road this uh, this sutipur defensive position is held by pakistan army third a maybe company or less than a company uh, 38 of 38 ff regiment 38 the 38 38 ff regiment battalion headquarter located at jogasa with two companies inside and on uh, uh, inside and around jogasa that is uh, on the bank of river kavu and another company was in maslia that is maslia western side of the of the kavutak river western side of the kavutak river mm-hmm. uh, but this is but this is from kashipur this maslia is, is too long you have to cross twice the kavutak or you have to cross twice the indian territory okay twice why is the since the boyra has gone kashipur is the eastern side of the boyra to come to masli i have to cross if i do not cross the river kabotak then i have to cross the indian territory twice but there is no river inside or outside however now my area was there was a defensive position of pakistan i mean chutipur a defensive position of mukti yodha taking the frontage of Gualhati village, Belta village, Bishori village, towards south, uh, Bill, Bill, uh, Marshy area. These three villages consist of about 300, 300 plus Mukti Jodhas holding this Shutipur defence, so that the people from Shutipur defence cannot come and again capture the Kashipur. The number, number one, number two. on the left flank just north east and north side of the river kakas kabotakko there are four very strategically located villages that is kobirpur kab sorry kabilpur azmatpur sahadatpur and goripur parash we have this goripur battle mm-hmm. uh, this this goripur is the on the main road chogasa to josur main concrete road the goripur is around on that road are on the right and on the behind kabilpur on the behind on the right is sahadatpur and uh, another is goripur is on on or in a, on and around uh, main road on the behind it was kabilpur and on the right sahadatpur and azmatpur my aim was to protect that that area so that the pakistan army cannot have a control over the communication between chutipur to goripur there is a road okay. on the eastern side of the river kabotak okay. the 38 ff regiment cannot come and join the chogasa unless they go to josur cantonment if i have to they have to join the to to go up the main main body they have to go to jasur country and then come back again but that's why this area is uh, strategically important to both mukti yodhas as well as the pakistan army because pakistan army had their majority of 38 ff regiment in chogasa and maslia area okay this is a defensive position there they have and very strong defense maslia and chogas are very strong that is what is called cement cemented bunker over there okay this this area and gualhati belta and bishori village where i my troops were on defense could you repeat and the name of the villages sir goal uh, gualhati gualhati belta Bishohori. Bishohori. Okay. Okay. This three villages were just uh, face to face with the city. Uh, what is I call Chutipur. Chutipur. Ah, uh, ha. 
this this area this this uh, guwahati and uh, belta and bishori these three areas as well as the shotipur the mukti yodhas and the pakistan army twice have the their hand to hand battle hand to hand battle and i will name some a, a mukti yodha habildar arawali vir vikram he captured a lieutenant alive like this and finally could not make him uh, keep him alive because one uh, freedom fighter who put his 303 rifle here and shot that officer okay they they had they had twice the battle in one battle on 5th september one of our great mukti yodha called your uh, nur mohammad who got the highest uh, bid bid sister award lance naik in gwalhad na lance naik nur mohammad of this company the delta company of epr where i was posted got, got uh, received the uh, bid sister award in he was killed in gwalhad village in gwalhad village and to bring that dead body another freedom fighter named sajed who is from goira just at the eastern side of the goira look at his village home he got wounded and then he treated he was treated in the hospital and got well and joined again with me in the liberation war served the uh, bangladesh army for few years 78 after 78 he got the retirement so lance this people mohammad was from your company when you took command of the company no 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 oh, no before, before i joined before, before you joined okay fifth uh, fifth september mm -hmm. he was he was he was uh, shaheed on fifth september as i never as i saw, uh, heard from the major huda that colonel huda major huda that they were ambushed by Uh, sorry the pakistani am, uh, army wa wa was ambushed by them but pakistani army with their supporting fire when have a launched a counter attack then this mukti yodha people were uh, withdrawing mm -hmm. without they they did they, they did not have that much of ammunition to continue then this uh, nur mohammad who stayed alone with his light machine gun and said you all escape you all go i am coming i shall i am giving cover as far mm -hmm. he was covering the alone and he got wounded still with that and ultimately succumbed to i think death. i think with him was nanumia nanumia was wounded then he took over ha nanumia wounded probably lmg man was there uh, was mm -hmm. with him that this because of this and and after it, it, this, this was in the month of september mm -hmm. and before that there was another battle where nayab subed and nurul islam was shahid he was also shahid okay on considering all these things the mukti yodhas made this defensive positions along these three villages so that the chutipur the pre my pakistan army from sutipur cannot come this the, towards kashipur as well as they do not dominate the uh, road from suti jikorgacha bhaya sutipur to goripur there is a big solling road uh, somewhere sometimes somewhere some some places it is broken big solling is broken but the, there is a road but i have to cover as this three villages defensive position as well as this azmatpur shahzadpur kabilpur and up to go to no up to north goripur by patrolling continuous observation and putting some uh, freedom fighter physically for 24 hours in kabilpur and azmatpur area and this was in october right sir october. this was in october october okay. and october this october months it goes like this and uh, very many uh, often very often the pakistan army and our freedom fighters used to exchange fires from chutipur and gwalhati bishori from here very often 
and some then at some time indian army reconnaissance party from artillery unit from engineering unit armor corps used to come inside and i used to take them and show them like river kabatak bridge uh, on uh, bridge over the river kabatak uh, on just uh, boira bazar just on uh, northern side of the boira bazar the bailey bridge was constructed mm -hmm. the these three locations in, uh, were wrecked by I indian engineering battalions people and i took them inside uh, one is near shahzadpur one is near near shahzadpur and azmatpur little uh, downstream but there they um, uh, did not consider it because but later on, uh, i was told that did not consider it because of the width of the river the river is width the width of river is more uh, but here the width is little less but the deep of uh, depth of the water is more in uh, what is called in bara how about the bridge was constructed then armor but armor uh, armor uh, armor personnel i was taken to armor personnel through kabilpur to shahzadpur to goripur before the armor battle they they have wrecked the terrain total what i know is that they arrived at goripur at night i mean the 14 punjab and the tanks no that is a, that is the 20th november 20th november no 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 that before that okay. before that before that before that it a march before that it uh, by the end of october indian army entered inside and entered inside means key not occupation for physical occupation for reconnaissance purpose for reconnaissance. with us for, uh, with us in group i am telling infantry personnel the artillery personnel armor personnel and engineering pers engineer personnel okay. and i i will come uh, one by one later on and this this chutipur was under our control till the end of the war till the end of the war okay. the uh, the defensive pakistan army could not come and cross over us and took over and twice they tried once they tried on 20th november okay eid day there is that was eid al fitr day eid al fitr day around uh, after the last flight uh, around 7 7 7:15 they started heavy artillery first trench mortar then artillery shell on my defensive positions okay and then physical offensive offense launch from gwalati side not eastern side gwalati village they started their northern side our northern side started but our different from our defensive position with steep resistance uh, was given and about an hour or uh, one hour 15 minutes exchange of heavy fire shelling and were uh continued but after that gradually it uh, they pulled back and then i found that one of my freedom fighter uh fulsuddin uh, was hurt in, on his right arm and chest uh, mortar splinter mortar splinter it has mortar splinter and then he was taken back by a doctor hanan saha uh, was taken to indian uh, with the help of indian army to indian ho army hospital field ambulance hospital and he was treated there uh, after that this 20th november on 21st november morning we found some uh, left uh, over weapons and few few helmets and we saw some blood strain on the ground to this i un we understood that there are some pakistan army might have some casualties so that six seven arms we got rifles 
7.62 rifles, one 7.62 uh, stain machine gun. We got we got we got from the ground uh, in the bamboo groups. So this was the one first when I repulsed, the, their attack was repulsed. And my another battle for which as you said that you got the from for which battle I got the, my big uh, Pratik award. Mm -hmm. uh, this is probably I was not told that you were awarded big Pratik for this or particularly this operation. I don't know uh, others are told or not, but I am not told that as yet uh, f uh, for which operation I was given this uh, gallantry award. The, so far, I guess uh, that was on 11th November. Uh, I got an, I made an ambush over Pakistan Army 38 FF Regiment. Uh, it was on uh, Maslia, Godadadpur, Goira Bio Axis. Maslia, Godadadpur, Goira Axis, which Boira. which is Goira, 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 Goira. Okay. It is. If you see the map, your four Sikh regiment. Mm -hmm. uh, crossed over Hizuli BUP, Hizuli, Hizuli Axis, Makam, you are border outpost. Porni border outpost inside Bangladesh. Mm -hmm. They have Porni border outpost, then proceed inside Makampur and Hizuli Axis, Hizuli Axis. Hizuli Axis. Hizuli Axis. Hizuli Axis. The, this Pakistan Army patrol from 38 FF Regiment from Maslia BOP to Bhaya Goira village and Godadurpur village, they used to go to Hijuli BOP. From Hijuli again they used to back to again Maslia. This information I got from our sources, freedom fighter sources. So then uh, I decided to make an ambush on them. Okay. And, and to go there, as I was uh, narrating you few minutes before, the Maslia BOP is a, is located in such a place. If I go along the Bangladesh territory, then I have to cross towards the Kabutra. One is very risky. I have to cross near Chogasa, but it is difficult from for Chogasa is heavily defended by Pakistan, Pakistan Army thirty eight AF regiment. And, 30, and a, a company, less than a company of 38 was have a strong position on the western side of Riga, near near Maslia uh, BOP, a location called Fatir Shah Akra. Fatir Shah Akra, Akra, Akra means more, that is Shadur Akra, Fokire Akra. Yeah, Akra. Oh, Akra. Akra. Okay. This place, this place, relatively, it higher than the surrounding ground, okay. and dominated, dominating the surrounding, and they have their defense here. That is 38. Probably a company less than a platoon. Probably, okay. what I feel. But I saw the, what I saw on. After being captured, Chugasa was captured by 4th Sikh Regiment on 23rd. 23rd, I remember. If you, if you, if you, if you, if you have the old record, probably, mm -hmm. you will see. 4th Sikh Regiment, who were in, in the Hizuli Axis, mm -hmm. they were asked to come and uh, uh, capture 4th Sikh on 20th November, but they were given steep battle. 21st and 22nd, they were stuck western side of the Kabotak, uh, that must be uh, what I am talking, the Fatisha Akra. This was a strong defense on the western side of the Kabotak River. Mm -hmm. The road coming from the Hijili Axis, uh, they walked about 15 kilometers without having any rest for Sikh regiment. Mm -hmm. uh, I decided to, I shall go through the Indian border, Indian territory, so that I don't have to cross Kabotak River. I have to cross from Kashipur and then go to Boira in our base camp. From there I shall cross over Charlie Company of 1st Jack, 1st uh, Jammu and Kashmir. Their battalion headquarters was in uh, 
বয়রা হ্যাঁ ফার্স্ট জ্যাক আগস্ট from IMA. Okay. I don't know whether he is um, alive or not. Or Lieutenant Uttam Gupta. I was told that he was killed in uh, uh, what is called um, Khulna Fultola battle. Okay. I was told but I don't know. I could not confirm it from uh, anybody. I, I, I even I did not have... I, I, then I decided I shall go through this Charlie company. And accordingly, uh, I did not inform to Major Nazmul Huda that I was going to do this thing. So what I did, I took my five freedom fighters, very uh, sincere and dedicated. One of them is Habildar Arobali Bir Vikram, Habildar Abul, Lance Nayak Abdul Jolil, known as Rocket Jolil. Rocket Jolil, right. Uh, and Uh, two of my freedom fighters of that area, as I am telling, of that area, Gaira village, Godadarpur village. Is, one is Sajidur Rahman, one is Shaukat Usman. Both of them were wounded. One was wounded in 7th, uh, 5th May, another 5th September, one was wounded in 17th August. Uh, 17th August in Borni. Shaukat was wounded in 17th August in Borni. And Uh, Sajidur Rahman in Gowalhati village on 5th September. Hamid Both Pramuk of them actually tried to take the Borni border outpost but failed, right? Ha ha ha. It was under the leadership of Major, Major Huda before I arrived there. Okay, but Major, I mean, uh, Colonel Huda could, couldn't take that outpost. Uh, take that outpost. Nikhe Paranai. Because there was, as I told by Shokot, Shokot was uh, an active uh, uh, participant and he was wounded. He told me that there was uh, the bill having such waters. It was, we thought it is a, a hip deep or knee deep. But it was, it was, a, it was water where there was no depth. They have to swim. Okay. They have to swim on the, over that Pakistan army three inch mortar uh, started on the um, uh, shelling. Then heavy machine gun. Like this, they could not take over. Brother, They are at one dead and few wounded. Out, one of them is Shokot, Shokot Osman. Okay. He is wounded, still alive. I, I, now and then we talk each other. Then we, I recreate this area. I crossed over to again Indian border from western side through Charlie Company. And I entered in Bangladesh territory. And I go, I, I went up to Uh, the route they are following from Maheshpur BOP to Godadharpur village, Godadharpur village to Gaira, Gaira to Hijuli. This, this, this uh, route is uh, about one and two feet, maximum two feet higher than the agriculture cultivated land. Okay. And this, uh, this route was a width of Uh, around 15 to 16 yards only. Two uh, carts. Uh, na- very narrow road. Uh, the, they, they are used to go on foot. I saw, I mean, I had a recce on 8th, 9th and 10th of November. In the morning, in disguise of a five cultivators, we were working in the field, in pretty field. Uh, just with a your uh, what is called mathal lojo mathal kishokra mathal mathal ye kachi ye nirani we are doing these things I found three days uh, 22 to 24 people soldiers automatic with small arms uh, it varies from rifle SMD and 
your LNG. They are patrolling and they used to go off between 7.30 to 8.30. But when they, in the morning, when they come back, I do not know. They, we are told that they come back before uh, the last light, before the sunset, they come back. Okay. On 11th and 10th night, I gave them a verbal order over a model. I selected 34, 35 people and divided according to ambush, divided into four groups. Uh, I again, uh, what is called, uh, I communicated with the Indian Army, uh, particularly with Charlie Company and Charlie Company Commander Major, uh, you have just, I could not remember, they cannot remember the name. He was very nice enough. He permitted me, but said that you come before the 12 here. You will stay here, but because I cannot give you the password. Uh, okay. Then I will receive you from the Baira, Baira Bajar, Baira Bajar market. I shall receive you and take you and you will stay there. From there, it, your time, you will cross. Then accordingly, I went there uh, with my troops and then he helped me to cross again international border and by 3 uh, 30 and 4 a.m. Uh, as far as possible we uh, dig in uh, 10 12 10 trenches uh, set four m16 mine okay four set m16 mines you know m16 mines an american uh, it has got three string wire strings which is four to five inches higher than the ground but co keep concealed and very thin it is difficult to identify uh, any any uh, from the uh, any side any angle if you touch that uh, uh, wire uh, it will open the uh, safety pin and the mine will explode. The mine is mine is kept about 10 to 12 inch inside digging the uh, ground, dig, ground and inside and then camouflage it, conceal it. And we are waiting according to, accordingly we are waiting 8 a.m., 9 a.m., 10 a.m. But they are not, no Pakistanis uh, were coming. The, our people were a little bit impatient. So I, over or less, I tell them to have patience. I hope they will come. And exactly just 10.30, around 10.30, we found, we detect one, two, three, four. And I, we took position just 100 to 200, 120 feet to 130 feet away from the route, their petrol route. We are inside paddy field, some are in digging positions, some are in concealed positions. Okay. And we found them, they are going, going, but that day, before that, I found them on during my reconnaissance day, I found them only 22 bar, uh, one day I found 24 highest, but that day I counted 34. And we uh, we have a frontage of 500 to 600 yards maximum we, can, we could cover, not more than that. Mm -hmm. so I found that western side, that is Hijili, Ghadadharpur, Gwaira, Hijili, Axis, they are crossing over my last man of western side. So then I have our predetermined signal. I gave the to the Havil the Rabul and the fire is open. We have four LMGs and other uh, this time you were not with five men, you had more people with you. Uh, what was the, you see? This time you had more than five men, more people with you. Five no I have this, time, thirty, this time. I have I have 35 people. Right now, okay, 35. Okay. 35 mm -hmm. people with, with ambush party 
we have, we have to divide into four groups reserve group main body uh, cut up party covering party okay. the reserve reserve group to is not reserve group is consist of eight people is have to subtract from the 35 okay. they are in reserve they are in reserve in time of my need i shall call they will come so i have in total 27 okay we this 27 have four lmgs four light machine guns i am talking about that light machine gun. the four light machine gun and the our uh, signal of opening fire was exploding the uh, your M16 tank or m16 mine while the pull the the moment how is the rabul will pull it will explode and uh, that will that will injure some people those who are going to some enemy and as well as our power but they were trained pakistan army trained they within a very short period of time they reacted they took cover of that 1 feet or 2 feet height of that road other side some dead trees are there some other trees they took cover and fired back and uh, they fired and since their defensive position that fatehshar akra was near to them it has just half a kilometer just uh, southern side of their location uh, ambush location they have co- definitely communicated and i found a three inch mortar shell started pouring in our and somewhere crossing to the uh, going to indian indian national border shelling I mean, but uh, we are from pakistani side ha huh, this was from pakistani side mm-hmm. and this we are inside bangladesh mm-hmm. and near to they are near to near to maslia bop mm-hmm. and they are defensive B- bop who is within the periphery of maslia bop that is for the sakra and the location this is location of ambush is a maximum they are uh, different from their distance from is half a kilometer away half a kilometer 500 meters okay. so they have co- they have called back the their support fire and this uh, this inter crossing of fire uh, continued for 1 hour and 1 hour 10 15 minutes and gradually then after that the volume and intensity of fire is reduced and at time it is it is stalled the whole thing stalled okay. and I, i i i i then realized that they have withdrawn back or but still some still there is some some remains doubt doubt some remains the way that they are react whether they will react or so we are waiting we are waiting they let us see mm-hmm. then our people some of our people very jubilant oh, they just gave a war cry and charge like uh, uh, by giving this cheer up and then war cry and then go deep inside inside this position cross the route they are petrol route and there are some molasses call oroho dal ke bole okay she dal ke egula then your sugar cane okay mother then then i found i shouted and somehow rather i could control them and search the whole area and I, in between i say uh, what happened during this battle peak of battle my wireless operator who just removed the wireless prc 25 set dropped it ha you know that wireless operator dropped his wireless ha mm-hmm. ah, mm-hmm. and he left i could not find i thought that he is killed i thought he is killed but but wireless is functioning all is on then this hajidur rahman a freedom fighter he took over the wireless what on is okay i and uh, he he took over on his shoulder and another thing happened uh, that is uh, uh, my one uh, lance knife i am sorry to tell that i now i cannot remember but i i i had in my uh, if we are 
East Pakistan Rifles record uh, the Lance Naik was injured. He was LMG, one of the LMG group one, uh, LMG one man, Lance Naik. He was injured. Lance Naik's two, uh, LMG man two, was operating. Okay. I, uh, when I came to know this, he was on right side around 10 to 20 years from my right. I crawled and saw him and with the help of another two freedom fighters, I sent him back to the international boundary, near to international boundary. He said, go and please hand over to the Indian Army. They, they could go, they could uh, go because of there was a deep canal but without any water in the Indian territory inside oh. India they, would, had, they could cross over this go in, inside and then they cross over it nothing happened to them and this this Lansnack survived but he had to impute, impute his hand from here oh. and they uh, he had to impute and he was taken to Indian Army Base Hospital, some, most probably Barakpur or where I don't know. The, he was taken. When I came back, uh, I came back to my base and Charlie, in, uh, first Jammu and Kashmir Rifles, Charlie Company area. I was told that he was taken back to Indian uh, Indian Army Hospital. This was. Uh, this when I my people searched the area. And I found the eight dead bodies. And later on, uh, we, we brought eight dead bodies, no? Eight out of eight, six dead bodies, two were injured. They are speaking. They are speaking, Urdu speaking. They are brought the, in the area of Charlie Company of First Jammu and Kashmir Rifles. I thought that they are my subsector commander, Major Nazmur Huda. Colonel Surinder Singh, Major Ajit, Alpha Company Commander, who was in Kasipur side. Alpha, uh, he was, his defense was on Kasipur side international border, Alpha Company of First Jammu and Kashmir Rifle, Major Ajit. Okay. The, he was there, artillery battery commander, uh, uh, commander was there. We were talking, Colonel Surinder Singh was giving Sabashi to me. Uh, in the meantime, the freedom, uh, local villager and freezer said, sir, more dead bodies are found. Then again I went, that there, are, there are minefield in front of Charlie Company, uh, planted by the uh, Indian Army. They are defense, sir. Through the minefield, the road is uh, marked. I went again um, my, with, along with my, and they, we found another three dead bodies. This is 11. And these two were also dead. Later on, uh, this uh, Pakistan army, those those two who were wounded were, were also dead later on. Probably through bleeding or something. But these eleven were buried inside Bangladesh. Some were buried uh, uh, eastern side of the Kabutak, some were buried western in Kasipur area. There are four or five buried in Kasipur area. So this was one of my, this was the major battle I, I fought. After this, after, after this, year 21st or 11th November and 20th November of each day, I had uh, on my own, moved, uh, as a freedom fighter, Asia, but we did, I did not have any uh, significant, significant battle to be mentioned. What I have to do is that when 14th uh, sorry, 14th Punjab took defense of Gurupur on 20th, 21st night, 20th, 20 21st, 20th, 20th night, 21st morning, mm -hmm. the defense was by the 8 a.m. or 9 a.m., it took about 9 a.m., mm -hmm. 9, 10 a.m., even 10 a.m., the bunker was uh, being met. This dead trees, I, I supplied, my freedom fighters supplied the dead, dead trees for the bunkers. Mm -hmm. Trench, uh, the local peoples, this was. And 25th, 21st morning around 8 a.m., 7, 8 a.m., this 
uh, uh, your uh, Charlie squadron of 43rd armored arrived. 45th they, cavalry, I guess. 45th, 45th, cavalry, ca ca 45th cavalry arrived. They took the cover of the fog, mm -hmm. dense fog in the moor. They arrived. The, my task was my uh, task was to protect the right flank of the Charlie Company, that is Shazadpur, Azmatpur. 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 Okay. Right, right side of the uh, right side of I mean, southern side of the Goripur. The simple thing. The, the, there is a road link, uh, uh, brick rolling road linking from Goripur to Jigorgasa. Okay. The, this is 21st night. Uh, the uh, Pakistan army attacked on Charlie Company uh, on 14th Punjab and their tank along with their tank and the uh, your uh, Charlie Company of Charlie Squadron of 45th uh, Regiment involved in, in, the, in the battle it was I, di I did not take part in that battle but I was on the right side about about a kilometer south but so no uh, battle in interaction. Amrato Ajmutpur, Shahjadpur, we were in defense, defense of flank, right flank of Goripur. We were in defensive position of right flank of Goripur, that is Ajmutpur and Shahjadpur. We, the freedom fighter, directly did not have involved with the battle of Goripur. This is this is fact. You, whatever anybody, whoever any says, that is not correct. This is the fact. But before, what I said that when the 14th Punjab came, before that the reconnaissance, I myself was accompanied the 14th Punjab. Probably it was 16th, 17th November evening time. They came. They came Maniki. That is. Uh, 10, uh, 20, 25 people with, but their commanding officer was not there. Major uh, Lieutenant Colonel, what is that? Uh, Raj Kumar Singh. Mm -hmm. no, he was not there. Probably twice a major was there, captain was there, Naif Subura was there. With him, the engineering unit, uh, uh, probably engineer platoon, as part of part of engineer platoon were there. Armor, ar 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 armor people were there. There, the group of 30, 32 men. Uh, I can. I have to two lines of defense. I protect. Uh, I had to protect the Gorip. One one kilometer, uh, money further east from the Goripur, so that the and behind from Chogasa, the no threat is there. I I took. I I had this reconnaissance with them. Then the another Maratha Madras regiment was there, and and further west. A uh, four Sikh regiment uh, were the second battalion to cross the international boundary, probably 15th of November and 17th of November. Mm -hmm. Probably. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, 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 four Sikh, the international border crossed by the four Sikh regiment, I did not observe because it was far west from me. As I said, that um, from my ambush side, another four to five kilometer western side. So you can say I st uh, my location was in the eastern side near Jasur Cantonment, uh, uh, Madras, crossing and their commanding officer, my coming to my area and uh, exchange of views, exchange of teas, cup of tea. That that was uh, our day to day, every day one. Uh, and then this battle after this battle, there's twenty third night, the Chogasa fall. The fall of Chugasa was effected on 23rd night. Uh, in fact, tw on 20th, same time, 20th November, 14th Punjab came to Goripur, and 20th November, 4th Sikh started advancing from Hijuli to Chugasa. Okay. And he was, he was ordered to capture this Chugasa. That that is, and then 
they f- they uh, walked about 15 kilometers on foot cross country moving move, move cross country move and came and uh, came under resistance of this maslia bup what i said this fatesha rakra which was very dominating location from there 38 of april and then 20th night was over 21st whole day they were selling we are housing we are hearing the we are we are about 4 5 kilometers east of that chogasa this is 14 punjab and our location that is 4 4 kilometers minimum towards east, uh, east we are hearing this artillery shelling then brush fire we we are hearing but uh, chogasa finally force was able to capture on 23 okay. and on, on 23 we met the uh, 3 342 brigade probably 350 infantry brigade 315 no 15 350 ha 350 in in infantry brigade brigade are uh, sandhu j ha sandhu ha and we met, we met him he instructed myself and major colonel nazmul huda he gave some instruction to uh, major nazmul huda and then we came to see see our force force regiment and uh, we, we we also met him and then uh, we went back to our location my location was shahzadpur and shahzadpur and kashipur and then onwards the battle third after the war was declared battle of this is formal war was declared third december and third december to seven december there was no there are no major battle fought by freedom fighters okay. there there are no major battles because there are only one battles that is on uh, kayum khola and babui babui ki in axis that was from goripur towards east and southeast the ro- road going from chutipur to jasor cantonment okay. this this location is also very heavily defended by the pakistan army probably they have 22nd punjab that place is close to burinda 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 close to burinda kayam khola that place close to this this place this location first attacked by the jammu and kashmir rifle mm-hmm. first so jammu and kashmir the bahini was there right just indian army indian army no regular mukti bahini did not take part maybe what mukti bahini may have shown the roots mukti which seems seems john seems john mu and first jammu and kashmir rifle was for a long time in the bara from the month of september jammu and kashmir rifle for the first week of just jammu and they have very good acquaintance with the freedom fighter including the co commanding officer and i tell you that uh, this uh, company commanders had very good uh, knowledge of the territory of, of inside bangladesh and probably they launched attack and i know uh, why they suffered heavy casualties and then the four six were we, taken up from this chogasa and ordered Force as we we squadron of 45 cavalry they went in for uh, charlie squadron also and, yeah, maybe the tanks were also there attacks were uh, maybe So, uh, they are taken from the goripur area probably and they they are and they launch and there are no that uh, there are uh, no steep battle as it was in goripur because uh, i don't think in burinda era area pakistan army had tanks i don't think no, no, because they no, have pakistan lo- army didn't have tanks ha that's why that steep battle that battle was fought in goripur in which both the sides suffered heavy casualties your 14 punjab also suffered casualties i saw the cremations the number of cremations i saw both in 
Bangladesh territory and in just other side of the Kashipur, Indian territory. And we had to uh, give the, your, what is the firewood, f f bring the firewood as much as, and I saw this, I, I, I myself counted 84. I myself counted 84 these cremations. 84? Uh, uh, 84. Okay. In, in two days, in two days I, I counted 84. Okay, two days, okay. It, but, uh, first Jammu and Kashmir rifles also suffered. Mm -hmm. first, first Jammu and Kashmir rifles also suffered. It, Jammu and Kashmir rifles mm -hmm. suffered heavy casualties. However, this was the Burundi was the last battle. Uh, Kayum Khola Burundi was the last battle. Here, I don't, I don't know uh, uh, that freedom fighter had taken part. Maybe reconnaissance, but not in assault, not in attacking. Okay. And th and then uh, it was after the four Sikh took over that area. It was an easy easy way for Indian Army to go and. Uh, in uh, in 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 cantonment mm -hmm. uh, it was the easy way because from there from this burundi uh, at kaimkula the pa pakistan army probably 22nd regiment and 15 15 30 uh, 15 frontier force 22nd punjab regiment and 15 frontier force probably were there some of them and they pulled back to Jasur cantonment and from there they left for Kulna. Okay. This is this is an another uh, 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 Pakistan army another another uh, uh, branch they moved towards Kustia, Jinaida Kustia. A very small no sorry Pakistan, Pakistan army another group they moved to Jinaida to Faridpur. 57 brigade, parts of 57 brigade. Huh, parts, one, one, oh, 107 brigade and 57 brigade. Mm -hmm. 107 brigade probably Khulna, mm -hmm. they go to Khulna. Mm -hmm. uh, 57 brigade probably, they went to uh, uh, your, what is called, uh, Faridpur. After that fall of Jasur, uh, we went. We went to Jasur. Uh, Indian Army went to Jasur cantonment, and uh, probably nine infantry deep of Indian Army. Uh, they moved towards Khulna, Fultola Khulna. I do not know about much of that thing. What I knew from from something that is from the books and the discussions of the others. Uh, nothing. And here my battle is closed. I did not have to fight any other thing or my my duty just from 8 December I was more, uh, more, more, more detailed to support the civil administration okay. to run their, run their show. Because you know the freedom fighters having weapons. It was difficult for then our Police, their uh, deputy, uh, common, de de uh, deputy magistrate, district magistrates, SDOs, they will hardly listen to them. Mm -hmm. And at the, for that, these officers from the Mukti Jordas were detailed, and the commanders from the prominent commanders of the Mujib Bahini, Mukti Bahini, were given tasks to help civil administration to restore their law and order. My duty was this. I had been doing this from Jasur. I was moved to Jinaida on the 11th, uh, 11th December. I I had been I I was there up to 21st December, 22nd December. I was moved to Faridpur, and I stayed there till 25th March. Okay. And and joined the, later on joined the 12 East Bengal Regiment uh, at Jasur Cantonment on 26th March. This is my... 12 East Bengal Regiment? 12 This was raised in Kollani. Okay. This was raised in Kollani on... Uh, this 
raising procedure you know uh, it 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 started uh, probably september october but the uh, raising ceremony day on 12 december probably on 12 december it was raised uh, in kolani under the command of left lieutenant captain soyot farukur rahman number one accused and hanged to death in bangabandhu killing uh, uh, case okay he was first commanding officer as a captain okay so you joined the 12 east bengal regiment so at that time you must be from second lieutenant to lieutenant right sir no 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 we became second lieutenant in the month of june mm -hmm. june uh, june in the in term june yes june probably june I mean, for, I don't talk, but I I remember I became captain in uh, October '73. Okay, captain. So uh, then, after I mean, did you serve until your retirement in the 12th East Bengal Regiment, or like? No, no, no. I I I I was posted from 12th East Bengal Regiment or in the first week of August 1975 to 17th East Bengal Regiment 17. in Sayadpur. Seventy one seven, one seven, seven, uh, one seven in Sirpur Garrison. That is in under Rangpur control. Uh, that that time it was brigade under Rangpur brigade, and I served seventeen East Bengal from. I got, I became major there in the month of August. Probably I became a. Nineteen seventy five eighth or ninth August, okay. I became major, and. I continued there up to uh, seven, uh, June 30th, June 1978. Okay. I served there. I served there as two IC, second in command of 17 East Bengal, from 76 uh, October 76 to June 1978. From there, I was posted to uh, to the 24 Div headquarters of. A Chittagong Cantonment okay. uh, as a as a uh, D A D A and Q M G D Q in short. D Q M G. I served uh, D Q M G. I I served there one month and then I qualified for the defence service stuff uh, and then I joined the defence service college in in Mirpur uh, in August nineteen. 79 in mirpur in dhaka mirpur in dhaka okay so in 1979 uh, you joined defense services staff college uh, i completed the training defense service command and staff college uh, and then i was posted in 1980 in the month of march uh, then post a school of infantry and tactics select as a gso2 court training court uh, general uh, training court training program planning and coordination okay. after joining there i was another additional task task the yc officer in charge tech course tactics there are three wings uh, tactics wing, weapon wings and special command doing i was i was gso2 for the three wings and then yc officer in charge that is instructor of tactical wing I served there two, two, months, two years, ten months, mm -hmm. and got my retirement on thirty-first from first February nineteen eighty-three. Okay. First February nineteen eighty-three. Okay. I came on LPR. You, you. LPR, LPR. leave pending retirement. Okay. Leave pending retirement. Okay. Okay. Want to know a bit about your own? present life as of now like after leaving the bangladesh army how was life to you and how i mean you did good in life and everything so uh, just a small part of it sir if you can talk about it uh, yes after leaving the army uh, i joined in uh, private job private job means it is semi government organization autonom autonomous body uh, rural Electrification Board. Uh, uh, 
our rural rural electrification board as a general manager i served there about three years uh, three years almost after that i i was in unemployed for few years and then i joined a private hospital okay uh, i had a private hospital as a administrative manager and where i continued till 25th march 9 to 2020 okay when the corona broke out mm-hmm. uh so my son and daughter did not allow me to continue job anymore okay now entirely tired and retired life you can say retired and tired life just right and i also seen your pictures with uh, bangladeshi prime minister sheikh hasina You're receiving an award from the Bangladesh government for your services in the war, I guess. Yes, yes. Uh, right. uh, what happened? Uh, uh, our honorable prime minister, uh, he, he. In fact, today I tell you, this is. If I do not mention here, then we. Uh, I think we are ungrateful. In fact, we were. Please keep this thing in your record when you edit it. Please keep my this last conclusions. Today we proudly can say that I am freedom fighter. We are freedom fighters. That is due to our Prime Minister Honorable Sheikh Hasina. If she was not there, we have forgotten it, and we really forgot it. We we dare not to say. we were not dared to say that i am a freedom fighter from after the killing of bangabandhu sheikh mujibur rahman from 1975 to june 1996 till sheikh hasina became the prime minister for the first time and she continued up to 2001 june mm-hmm. 5 years and mean, during this short period of time she had tried her best to bring back the glory and recognition of the liberation war after that the government came that was a government led by bangladesh nationalist party supported by the jamaat e islami dewi person the, the uh, political party who is directly uh, participated against the liberation war and they had created rajakar al wadar al shams this uh, armed group against uh, us that however after nine from January 9, 2009 till today, today it is our Prime Minister who has re-established the ideal ideology and the glory of the liberation war, and we are being valued. Tell you, we the freedom fighters are valued in the society, are valued in the offices, and what? our 20 uh, 21st november of every year is uh, uh, is is observed as the armed forces day 21st november of uh, in bangladesh armed forces day because why on 21st november 1971 bangladesh army air force and navy together all together jointly jointly started operation and again on 21st november the allied forces at that time though indian army did not become allied forces it is allied forces after 3rd december of 1971 after the formal declaration of the war but before that uh, 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 a on 21st november night both Indian Army and Mukti Mukti Bahani 
cross the international border jointly. This day is observed as Armed Forces Day in Bangladesh every year. And Prime Minister, an Honorable Prime Minister, uh, attends the uh, ceremony in the morning in Shikha uh, Onirbhag. It is in the Dhaka cantonment uh, in the name of the Shahids of, the, of 1971 war. Uh, President and Prime Minister first offers floral wreath and the Prime Minister then, in every year, 100, 110 uh, Shohit family, wounded uh, uh, freedom fighter, uh, living gallantry award holder freedom fighter, 100 and 100 plus, like this year, last, uh, uh, last year, 2022, I was invited in 2022. Uh, in that year, was 110 uh, gallantry award holder, Shohit family, and wounded in injured freedom fighters were honored with gifts and cash donation within, within his every year he, he is doing. And besides that, it, as you know, in Bangladesh, about 200,000, around 186,000 officially. Freedom fighters are getting monthly honorium. Right. Monthly honor in various category. Bir Sresto, Bir Uttam, Bir Vikram, Bir Prati, Bir Uttam, Bir Uttam, Bir Sresto, and various category. And freedom fighters are got anger in Kanagari. Those who are wounded, they are getting more than the us. This, this, every year he is, she is every month, not year, every month she, she is paying and it is, it has, um, uh, this amount has, uh, uh, amount is now, she has raised this amount to 20,000 minimum, from 20,000 per month to 35,000 per month. It is a good, a very good amount is given and that all, not only that, this amount shall be continued to the descendants. It is constitutionally, it is gazetted and constitutionally written. It is that their descendants will get it in future also. It is because of, it is, that's one of these photographs, probably it is uh, 21st November of 20, 2022 occasion. Okay, Exactly, exactly. I uh, I am of the same opinion of, of of yours, and at the same time, uh, nothing to be much uh, humble. You 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 are a gentleman. That's why you are expressing. I am really pleased to have you within our family. Wish you all the best. Thank you so much. Okay. For this video, I would like to extend my heartiest thanks to Anik K. Gupta, the son of Major Ali Kumar Gupta. Without you, brother, it would have been very difficult. And I would say ki your support helped a lot in recording this lost and forgotten history of the 1971 war. Thank you so much. And 
this is the end credits that I would like to give to you. Thank you so much once again.